Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian. Delighted, excited as always to be able to do these videos for you. And today I wanted to talk about something that really touched my heart the other day. A girl reached out to me asking me why am I still crying over my ex. And I think she waited over a year to reach out to me and she couldn't figure it out on her own. She tried to get him back, she made a bunch of mistakes, she tried to move on and she could not. And I think that she had basically reached her limit. Sometimes people wait until absolutely the last possible resort to reach out to us after they've made every single mistake or after they've really pushed their significant other away before reaching out. And this was a case like that where she had waited way too long um, before reaching out to us. And so she asked me, why am I still crying over my ex over a year after our breakup? And um, it kind of broke my heart because this was a fantastic, fantastic young lady, very art artistic, very artsy, uh, very you know gorgeous, had everything going for her, very smart, but she, the way that she saw herself was completely distorted. And she, quite frankly, had uh, feelings for a man that had never treated her right and that kept uh, breaking up with her when he felt like poop, when he felt um, that his life was not <coughs> where it was supposed to be. <clears throat> and he kept breaking up with her when he thought that his life was not where he was supposed to be. And he was doing it because he had full control over this relationship. He knew that he was, some, he was with someone who was very vulnerable and he could control and kind of unleash on her. And over a year later, um, she kept crying over her ex and she didn't understand why. And the reason why she was crying over her ex was because she was emotionally dependent. Right? She lived exclusively through the relationship. She had no identity on her own. Everything was the relationship and everything was her ex, even a year after the breakup. And I asked her what some of her future project was and she kept bringing up things that they had talked about together. I asked her what she liked to do and she kept bringing up things that they liked as a couple. And it became very clear very quickly that she did not remember what she was about, what she loved, what some of her passions and aspirations were. And so this is where the process began. Together, we tried to go back to what made her unique and what made her who she was. And to get her to understand that the key to her problems was not in getting back with this man or moving on from the way that she felt about this man. The key to her problem was to reestablish a relationship with herself and the things that she truly likes to do. And maybe this is happening to you too. Even if it's not been a year, even if it's just been a few months or a few weeks since the breakup, if you're still mourning and if it's hard to get out of bed, if you don't feel like doing anything, if all you can do is talk to your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or ex-wife or ex-husband, to your friends, you're probably in this uh, position of emotional dependency. And I urge you to go back to the drawing board of understanding and defining what your values are. What is important to you? What do you want to accomplish in this lifetime? What are you passionate about? What are some of your hobbies? What, who are the people that you can count on? How, what are you grateful for? To think about all of these things that actually make you who you are and to then force yourself with all your might to start to look forward and to take steps, actions in your day to day linked to all of these things that we talked about so that you can start to shift your focus from the relationship and that identity towards your own identity. And in order to basically snap out of this state of emotional dependency and move on to 
finally being able to enjoy life and to not um, be so burdened and hurt um, after a painful breakup, even if it's been a few weeks, months, or years. As always, I invite you to share your story and to also share the things that you are going to do or the things that you have tried to do to snap out of this state of emotional dependency in order for, to get feedback from the Love Advice community and from ourselves. And even better, if you'd like to work with us, um, it would be my pleasure to help. I love seeing couples get back together, but I love even more to see people that are down at the dumps start to come alive again and to be happy because that's ultimately what life is about. So if you want to reach out, if you want to work together, please don't hesitate to reach out. It would be my pleasure to help. I invite you to keep fighting the good fight, to believe in yourself because you are amazing and good things are to come. All the best.